Why does an air bubble rise up through rise up through soda water bottle? In the diagram, we can denote the free surface of soda water placed in a bottle, and this is the spherical air bubble of radius r. This is the spherical air bubble of radius r moving in the soda water. So we can denote we are denoting soda water and uh, a spherical air bubble of radius r inside the soda water. The spherical air bubble of radius r moves with uh, a terminal velocity vt in the soda water. This is the soda water. Inside this soda water, an air bubble is moving with terminal velocity vt. This is the air bubble of radius r and uh, density rho a and rho w is the density of soda water. Rho a is the density of air and eta is the coefficient of viscosity of soda water. The terminal velocity, the terminal velocity of an air bubble Terminal velocity of an air bubble of air density rho a and radius r in soda water moving in the soda water is given by the terminal velocity of air bubble of air density rho a and radius r moving in soda water is given by vt equal to 2r square rho a minus rho w into g divided by 9 eta. So this is the equation 1. That means Vt is the terminal velocity Vt equal to r square rho a minus rho w into d divided by 9 eta. Also, at equilibrium, also at equilibrium, now in the diagram we can denote the buoyant force AB, that means upthrust AB and the viscous drag F which are acting in upward direction and Mg is the weight which is acting downwards. At equilibrium, weight Mg is equal, is equal to sum of F and FB, where F equal to 6 pi R eta Vt, which is the viscous drag acting on the spherical air bubble, viscous drag and FB is equal to the thrust that means mw into g where mw is the mass of soda water displaced by the spherical air if b equal mw into g which is the thrust or buoyant force acting on the spherical air bubble or comma mg equal 6 pi r eta vt plus if b Therefore, Vt equal mg minus Fb whole divided by 6 pi r eta. This is also the another expression of terminal velocity and which is equation 2. Now, Vt equal to r square rho a minus rho w into g divided by 9 eta that is from equation 1 as density of air or density of air bubble is less than the density of soda water that means rho a less than rho w that is density of air rho a which is equal to 1.293 kg per meter cube bracket close is less than is actually is uh, much less than the density of the soda water that means rho w density of soda water under bracket rho w which is equal 1000 kg per meter cube rho w equal 1000 kg per meter cube that's why vt means terminal velocity will be less than zero means terminal velocity will be negative also the weight of the air bubble, that means mg which is acting downwards, the weight of the air bubble means mg is less than the weight of 
less than the buoyant force Fb, which is acting upwards which is acting on the air bubble upwards that's why terminal velocity v2 will be less than zero that means terminal velocity is negative rho a less than rho w that's why vt is less than zero and also weight mg weight of the air bubble mg is less than the buoyant force fb that's why terminal velocity vt is negative less than zero vt uh, is denoted in vertically downward direction when it is positive but it is negative that means the air bubble will move it will move upwards with the terminal velocity vt because vt is negative in diagram it is denoted in vertically downward direction as it is negative that's why air bubble will be moving upwards in the soda water hence we can say that the air bubble rise is up through rises up through the soda water because its terminal velocity is negative. If we explain the diagram, mg is the weight which acts downwards. We can denote the thrust or buoyant force Fb up thrust. Now, the viscous drag F, which is equal to 6 pi r eta Vt will be acting downwards because uh, the air bubble will be moving upwards in the soda water with the terminal velocity vt. In this case, terminal velocity vt should be denoted in vertically upward direction. vt is the terminal velocity and the air bubble rises through the soda water. Rho, rho a is the density of air or density of air bubble which has the value rho a equal 1.293 kg per meter cube and density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube density of air rho a is equal to 1.293 kg per meter cube as density of air is less than the density of soda water that means rho a is much less than rho w that's why terminal velocity vt is negative so air bubble rises up through the soda water, through the soda water.